This is such a pride unit of serious research. I want to summarize for you a few quick observations from the latest report, Model Behavior. This is a report that typically looks at quantitative factors and its relationship to equity investment strategies. And um, in this report, we centered on yield. In a very nervous market, dividend yield strategies have started to really matter as they've outperformed. Importantly, though, what we focused on with really a little more nuanced look at dividend yield strategies. There are two broad structures of yield stra strategies. One, dividend growth, which looks to fundamentally faster growing companies, potentially not as a significant a yield, but with the promises of growing that yield. Um, compared to higher dividend yield strategy, probably slower growth companies. Um, these are two unique strategies within the dividend yield uh, world. And in this report, what we bring to surface, and to some degree this shouldn't shock you, was that we linked the value growth cycles to the various income strategies that work. And one of the things we had noticed this year was to see how dividend yield strategies had really surfaced. Well, intuitively that makes sense. Um, you've got a nervous market, therefore let's go to safety. Shortest duration um, will work better. Um, when we look at this over multi-cycles going back to the, as far back as the 1990s, 30 years plus data, uh, this chart does a great job of surfacing the gap. Um, the upper panel here represents the value cycles, the lower panel represents our growth cycles. And uh, what you'll find is that in just looking at those windows over the 30 year period, we found that dividend yield strategies sharply outperform when you're in a clear-cut value cycle, and dividend growth strategies are in favor in a growth strategy world. Um, in fact, if we look at the correlation of these factors and these relative performance curves, you're gonna see something super interesting. The upper panel represents probably your most naive models of dividend growth versus dividend yield, and that's simple, the highest dividend growth uh, bin versus the highest dividend yield bin. Take those two performance groups, put them one over the other. And so as the purple curve here uh, rises, dividend growth strategies are working. Notice what you're seeing below in the blue line and the dark blue line. Uh, the dark blue line represents value, growth versus value strategies. As this line climbs, growth strategies are outperforming. As the line decays, value strategies outperform. Guess what? We're seeing in the major curves, not every one, but in major turns with the cycle, um, you're noticing something super important, which is in terms of dividend yield strategies, the nuance of growth versus value clearly matters. It makes business sense. It, it links it back to the current moment. But what we can show is that this goes back for 30 or so years. Uh, take a look at the report. I think you're going to enjoy it. I think it's very timely in this world as we're looking for safety. Uh, what flavor of yield matters? With any questions, feel free to follow up with us. Thank you.